بعد 7 اكتوبر كان زادت الهجوم تبعهم صار يجوا على الناس في الليل وفي النهار كان يضربوا الناس يعني صار الوضع غير امن صار وضع مخيف طلعوا الشعب من الدرج على راسه يوسف كوفين Since the 7th of October, the situation in the West Bank has significantly deteriorated. Uh, a lot of the previous trends that we saw uh, for the last three years have uh, accelerated to unprecedented levels. We've seen an uptick in Israeli search and arrest operations throughout the West Bank now. Uh, we've also seen an uptick uh, in Israeli settler violence, especially during the first month following the 7th of October attacks. Those incidences have seen somewhat of a decrease since the 1st of January until now. هجموا على التجمع أكثر من 70 عنصر يعني بين مستوطنين مدنيين بين جنود بين جنود نظاميين بين سيارات شرطة فبلشوا ضرب في الناس وبطح على الارض وتكلبش وطلاق نار و... و لم اخذ الهوايه اخذ التليفونات عشان ما حد يصور ولا حد يثبت الحدث What we have seen effectively is an increase in terms of search and arrest operations as well as the fatalities that they have been bringing with them. These search and arrest operations have become far more brutal, far more violent. And we've also seen Israeli security forces go into Palestinian localities like Janine refugee camp, Tulkaram, where Israeli soldiers have gone in and uh, destroyed huge, significant amounts of civic infrastructure, basically making these neighborhoods, these areas, completely unlivable. They've destroyed water lines, electricity, sanitation. They have destroyed cultural centers, which used to be a pivotal hub in trying to deter Palestinians, especially younger Palestinians, from armed resistance and pursue more civic forms of, of expression. Uh, frustration and discontent and grievances. That has especially been the case with places like Janine, where we've seen Israeli soldiers attack the Freedom Theater. You come to me, you arrest me, you, you beating me, you put me in a prison, you kill my friends, you invade my place all the time, just to make me angry and react in a way that you want me to act. We say no, we, we do theater. The effect of that has been that not only has it increased the support for armed resistance, but also the engagement in armed resistance. Uh, prior to the 7th of October, Islamic Jihad's numbers didn't really total more than 4,000 uh, in the West Bank. Um, those that were being pushed into more radical circles uh, were doing so on very fluid terms. Their allegiances were very fluid. Uh, since the 7th of October, that dynamic has changed. And worse yet, you are also now seeing the re-establishment of a lot of the armed groups that had been dismantled prior to the 7th. In September, there was really nothing left of the lion's den. The Janine brigades had all been pretty much eradicated. Many of their members had been either arrested, co-opted, or assassinated. Uh, and now you've seen not only their re-establishment, but also the formation of new groups that are becoming active. That has not only increased the sentiment in terms of engagement and support for armed resistance, but we're also seeing an increase now in clashes uh, in these different territories, which is giving uh, Israel more of a free hand to go in uh, with, with complete brutality into these areas. <laughs> وانه ثاني اشي انه جيش محتل هذا بيجي بقتل الصغار بقتل الكبار بضرب النسوان مثلا شغله احنا يعني اهدافنا انه نصمم كتيبه نحرض المؤمنين على الجهاد We also have the issue of political renewal which is much needed Palestinians now more than ever need a united national leadership um, something that all political factions on the ground are in agreement of Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas remains to be the biggest obstacle to that. But without a united front, Palestinians are incapable now of changing their lived reality. You know, that is where Palestinians feel that they find their agency, is through mechanisms of resistance, be it civic or violent. Unfortunately, now many are being swayed more towards the latter, given uh, the incredibly violent context in which they operate under and where all civic attempts have been uh, dismissed and, and delegitimized. Uh, but without a united front, uh, the Palestinian leadership now is thinking in very uh, self-interested rather than nationalistic terms. Uh, it's more about elite self-aggrandizement uh, and survival, as opposed to really pressing for the issues that are required to make positive changes, uh, including a ceasefire, ending the blockade on Gaza, 
uh, mitigating a lot of the settler and Israeli state violence in the West Bank, uh, as well as the need for renewal and infusing Palestinian political institutions with legitimacy.